it's totally my understanding of from my experience over the past 23 years of practicing tea is an aesthetic practice aimed at bringing people together to apprehend the real. In this pursuit, nature is the ultimate teacher. Formal training gives the student of tea access to the experience of the mundane and transcendent undivided. There's two streams of Chana Yu, the merchant class schools and the warrior class schools. The Wedasoko Ryu, which is a particular school within the warrior class schools of tea. Wedasoko Ryu is regarded as having a particularly elegant, dignified and beautiful temai. Straight lines, harmony with the breath. There's a totality formed, one's posture, breath and how the utensils are moved across the mat and then eventually served to the guest. Philosophical difference is a different interpretation of Ichigo Ichie. For a merchant class understanding of this concept, singular moment in a lifetime. Whereas a warrior class understanding, one moment for all time. The curated tea room presents a smorgasbord of sensorial experience that we can enjoy. And someone put on the new Beastie Boys album. <laughs> Oniwa yaki means Oniwa garden, yaki ceramics. Starting up makeshift raku kilns to fire their own hand-built pots. This beast, this beast, this beast. <laughs> Diamond-shaped freshwater jar by Ueda Sawamizu. What do you reckon? Hiroshima is the home of the Ueda Soko Ryu. Part of the destiny of the Ueda Soko Ryu, as I said, is to transform our military history into a different fight for peace. It's almost trying to transcend human history before nuclear weapons and bring it into a world after our creation of nuclear weapons. The idea that we can destroy ourselves now, what do we do? Uh, maybe the answer lies in the tea room.